baseball. Savannah Bananas is a baseball game in the middle of a circus, in the middle of the greater show. This is Banana Ball! And if you pay attention closely, there's a baseball game going on. <laughs> For nearly a decade, the Savannah Bananas have been pushing the boundaries of entertainment and sports. From kilt-wearing dance routines, to literally changing the rules of baseball altogether. I'm Sarah Spencer with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, and it's time for a behind-the-scenes look at the most insane, twerk-filled, bat-on-fire circus that is Banana Ball. With more than 8 million followers on TikTok, the Savannah Bananas are more of a social media sensation than any franchise in Major League Baseball. But to learn how and why it all started, we have to go back to the moment they catapulted the newly formed team to stardom. When we first came out with the name Bananas, uh, people hated it. I mean, we were getting hate mail, but what it did is it created attention. And at that point, people were talking about us. The name went viral, picked up both locally and nationally. All right, do do do. That's right. The team rebranded with a new logo and mascot. Please welcome Split! Dancing broke out, pet bands started playing, and the social media sensation began. And the more you stick to who you are and share that it's okay to be different and to dance and to sing and to call yourself the bananas, you know, to be named after a fruit, we don't take ourselves too seriously. And so we just stuck to our guns. For seven seasons, the Bananas competed in a collegiate summer baseball league. But in 2022, they decided to play banana ball all year round. At most matchups, you'll see the Savannah Bananas playing another one of the organization's teams, the Party Animals. Those two groups tour together, and man, do they put on quite a show. What is banana ball? Banana ball is baseball with all of the negative parts of it changed to be the most fun sport I think ever made uh, in planet Earth. So everything revolves around how can we make the game enjoyable for everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Banana Ball! It's baseball with some big changes to the rules. 11 in total to wrap your head around and my personal favorite, if a fan catches a foul ball, it's an out. So even if you're in the stands, you can get in on the action. Two other great rules. The first is the two hour time limit. So if you ever feel like major league games drag, that is not an issue here. And the second is called the golden batter rule. Once per game, a team can send up to bat whoever they want at any point. They always ask, you know, are you guys actually good at baseball? I think yes. I think there's guys on our team that throw 95 miles an hour and can hit the ball 450 feet. We do all the things that we used to. In my minor league career, we hit batting practice. We work on it on defensive stuff. The pitchers pitch as much as they probably did during their pro careers. But it's this one gets you out of your comfort zone and try and do things that, that help you grow as an entertainer versus just growing as an athlete. The most common question I get, though, is are the games rigged? And the answer is no. Definitely in the Globetrotters, those games are fixed. We play an actual baseball game. The party animals, the team we play, they're really good. They're trying to win. I think that's why these fans stay, and I think that's why Banana Ball is gonna be around for years and years because it's such high competition. This game has become so popular, they have a two million person waiting list for tickets. Recently, they even sold out an MLB stadium, playing at Minute Maid Park, home of the Houston Astros. This is the biggest game in Banana Ball history. We're born for this, baby. It's clear banana fandom shows no signs of slowing down. It's not about us, it's just about the people coming here. I love hearing so many kids play for the first time because of what they see when they come to a Bananas game. It's just the most humbling thing I think I've ever experienced in my life. People are on this waiting list for two years and they're finally coming to a game. That kid up in the stands has seen us for the first time ever and it's the coolest thing. Well, personally, I found them on YouTube first and I saw all their videos about the dancing and stuff and I kind of fell in love. And it's just so fun being here in this environment. I just love it so much and I love all the songs. I'm literally just dancing the whole time. It's so fun. We've really seen the community of Savannah come around us and now embrace it. And now we have people across the world who are following us. We're so proud of that, to be able to bring so many different people from so many different walks of life together, united at one event. It's, it's really special. This is the game of the fans, by the fans, and for the fans. Yo, Bananas! Amazing! 
Perfect theme. I'm a banana. Absolutely on brand.